welcome 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 everybody it's the freaky flash also known as pyromancer in the game um today episode three we're going to be focusing on invasion boss dark pinata uh so let's just jump straight into it um so mr pinata is magical or magic element so he is weak against tech and water and he's strong against undead and wind um, he has some debuffs, so his main debuff would be stun, which also occurs by a random chance. And then he also has a chance to randomly uh, give you attack down, unrecoverable, and defense down. He buffs himself up um, with attack up and critical up, and then he also summons a little mini piñata, a little horse-like thing, um, that can stun you by chance. When we talk about strategy for uh, Dark Pinata, uh, what you want to do is to have a element neutral tank um, and then two element advantage DPS. You can have a broccoli for heals uh, and also just to do the debuffs or you can also go with a high five in this situation to break the boss's endurance much faster. Our for, for, for Dark Pinata, I would say that having a Disrupt unit um, will be beneficial because the Disrupt will stop the, the, the casting process for Dr. Pinata, which means that um, you'll have to wait till his next turn to be able to actually release the, the ability. And with Dark Pinata, his cast move is the AOE, where he puts on a little sombrero hat and he does this weird little dance and song. And it does big damage if the cost is complete. But once the cost has been disrupted, um, you'll notice that the damage that it does is actually very small. And it also does not drop those random debuffs as it would if the cost had gone through its full complete stage. But I'll show you an example of that, of that um, once we are doing the actual run. So you need an element neutral tank, two element advantage DPS, and then from there it is simply tank and spank. That's all it is. You're just gonna be smacking this dude whenever he's about to cast his five second um, cast skill. You throw a disrupt in there and you knock him out. Simple, easy. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get in this. So I chose to use Chain Reaction, Gil Grunt, and Kaboom. Kaboom being element neutral, um, he's 6 star, so he has a lot of HP, because I did build him a kind of tanky. He's not awakened unfortunately, but I'll get there. Um, so he's my element neutral for this uh, little battle. So like, okay, let's just see what happens. So, as you can see, uh just taking the damage now gil grunt was able to land the freeze uh, uh from the s2 and then after doing the s1 which is anchor management um the whole team got a three turn critical up uh buff but you know like uh, unfortunately um if i had my stealth elf uh or my Triple S in here, um, they would have been able to benefit from that crit up like more than my chain reaction and um, kaboom because they didn't crit a lot, um, they didn't crit a lot, which is unfortunate. But as you can see, uh, Dark Pain Yata is focusing down the element neutral first, all right, and then once the element neutral is down, he focuses on chain reaction. And you would have also noticed that um, a lot of the times I've been throwing um, Gil grunts s1 anchor management during the cost right there and then throws the disrupt and you saw it, it stopped the cost and then the boss's next turn he threw the aoe but it did really small damage it did really small damage so as you can see in this battle um we're able to hit our thirty thousand point mark uh, which is the mark that we always aim for um, you know, for all these uh, tip videos, we're not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to be 
um, doing the videos while trying to get um, triple S or you know ridiculous scores like that um, this is this is a video for our beginner guys that are you know in guilds and trying to you know uh, progress in the guild as well quite well so the 30,000 uh, points daily is a fantastic benchmark for doing that so yeah so we were able to score about 42 40 something thousand points I can't remember anymore um, and you know ended up doing pretty pretty good pretty good um, so yeah Dark Peñata um, as an invasion boss he's not really anything to be scared of um, he's pretty easy um, as long as you just tank and spank him come with an element neutral uh, tank um, or elemental disadvantage tank if you have that tank like really really tanky like really 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 tanky uh, if you got like a really good whirlwind could also you know pretty much work out for you and then yeah just bring in some hard hard dps um, in terms of villains broccoli is good just for you know hitting up that heal maybe dropping a little debuff whenever you get um, I mean dropping a little bit of a cleanse when you got a debuff on you. Another villain that would be really good in this invasion boss would be High Five because High Five you know attacks the boss and also drops the endurance bar and can also knock over the boss right which is fantastic with Piñata because with Piñata you want to cycle as many turns as you can you want to disrupt him as much as you can and you want to stop him from doing these AOEs and single targets abilities as often as you can and in that way you will score quite a lot so that brings us to the end of this video um, sorry for it being just a little bit long uh, but hopefully with all this information you guys will be able to build you know a, a pretty good dark pinata team that will actually score 60 70 thousand points i mean if i'm doing 40 thousand points now with you know like a horrible team composition then I'm pretty sure you guys could be easily scoring 70,000, 80,000 points, you know, um, just by following the stress and everything. So, until next time, guys, uh, it's been fantastic hosting you guys. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, jump onto the Twitch channel. Um, sometimes I'll be streaming. Uh, yeah, check me out. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace out.